Coach B, every year your conference record has gotten better and better to now making it into the RMAC tournament. Uh, just talk a little bit about the season. Yeah, this season has been really big. I think last year we really focused on our culture. Um, trying to win off the field was our biggest thing, um, being able to make sure the girls you know, saw it as a sisterhood because I think that's really important in your collegiate careers. You're not just there to play ball and to go to school, but you're really there to get those friends for life. And I think for us, a big shift was our culture um, and just playing for each other, playing more selfish, selfless. We talk about pay, playing selfishly selfless because um, in parts of our game, you are out there by yourself, but ultimately you're doing everything you can for your team. Um, so this year has been huge. We had our culture right. Um, and then on the field, just adding more bodies, more depth. That's been huge for us because it's not only pushed the young ones, but it's pushed the older ones that even though they had the experience, they knew that they had people pushing them every single day. So I think everything that we've done this year um, has gotten the result that we wanted, which was making tournament. Um, but we win on the field and off the field, and I couldn't be more proud of this team. Being that you are one of the seniors on the team, um, just talk about how the team dynamic from when you arrived to now has been since this whole change. Yeah, so when coming in as a freshman, it was it was during the heart of COVID and all. Um, so it was it was a little bit tougher just coming in and trying to figure my my own path out. Um, the girls the girls were great. They took me under their wing freshman year. Um, coaches were great, and then you know, following that next season was when things really started to change. Um, coach came in, and like she said, she really just changed the culture of the program. She started focusing on um, who we are internally before we even started focusing on softball. And I feel like that was um, really good for us as a team and our cohesiveness. And um, you know, from from then to now, it's amazing to see how the program has just really excelled and how as people, you know, we're going to come out of the program and do great things and know we're successful. And so it's, it's just a really good feeling. So now jump into one of your younger players on the team. <laughs> uh, can you just speak on Caitlin's season this year? Uh, just a record breaking season broke Nikki two saints, uh, all time single season doubles record and has a 462 batting average. So just what does she bring to the team? She brings a lot, um, and so what's, what's kind of funny is that the, she's having the year she is. Um, it was funny, last year Caitlin and I had a conversation just about what she was going to do at the plate especially. Um, she brings a lot of versatility in the field, which is awesome to have out of somebody that can hit the ball the way, the way that she can. Um, but we had a conversation, I told Caitlin, I said, you're going to have 80 plus extra base hits. And she's nodding her head because she knows what I'm talking about. Um, because she's just, you know, we talk about those kids that are built different. She's built different. Um, at the plate, half the battle is being able to see the ball. Um, and that's a big part that Caitlin brings is that she can see the ball. No matter if you throw it at her forehead or at her ankles, <laughs> she can hit both out. Um, so she's a force to reckon with at the plate. Um, but really, the, the thing with Caitlin is it comes down to the player and their determination to be great. Um, and Caitlin just wants to be great. And even when she gets knocked down, she knows how to get back up. Um, so some of the greatest hitters in baseball and softball, um, they know how to fail, but they know how to not let their failures just define them. And I think that's something that Caitlin brings is she's a next level hitter because she knows how to strike out, pop up. She, she can do all those things. She's going to get back in that box and just see ball hit ball. Um, does she get a little heavy footed sometimes? Yes, we talk <laughs> about that. Um, but for her, it, it, when she keeps it simple, um, I mean, she's hard to beat. Um, so I'm not surprised that she's having the year that she is. But ultimately, all of that is, is props to her and just the determination that she has as, as a hitter and a ball player and as a person. Um, she's a great person too, so I'm just I'm really proud of her. Um, but I told her this this would kind of happen, um, but it's all it's all her um, and that determination that she has. So Kate, how is it? How have you been able to maintain your consistency at the plate from freshman year to now? I mean, all glory to God. Um, I just want to say that I spend a lot of extra time hitting with Coach B. She's <laughs> always there to throw us extra BP if we need and. For me, it's just knowing that every practice to go in there and not take any reps for granted and knowing that every time I step in that batter's box that the whole team is with me too. So just really doing it for them and those around me. All right, Marissa. So there's been some ups and downs this year in the circle, um, just but you're leading the team in wins and strikeouts. Just talk about how you've come so far in your pitching so far this year. Um, not even just this year. I mean, from freshman year to now, my confidence and just being able to trust my abilities is I've had a huge growth in and being able to rely on the people behind me and knowing I have a great defense to back me up and just 
being able to have Coach B here to help me and be able to really help me visualize um, where I need to be better and grow throughout the weeks. Awesome. So now jumping into postseason, um, what are you looking forward to the most as you head into your first RMAC journey? I'm looking forward to us being able to have that kind of no wins, no losses and go out there and give our all. Um, I think we've really hit a peak as of recently um, and we've surprised ourselves in some in some ways, um, not the wins and losses that can be surprising, but just us being able to see what we are fully capable of. And when we play pack softball and we go out there with nothing to lose, um, we're, we're tough to beat. So I'm really excited for kind of a clean slate. Everybody's got a clean slate when they walk in there. Um, and being able to face some teams that I feel like didn't get the best us, um, but ultimately we're playing to prove ourselves right that we are as good as we are and we're in this tournament for a reason so I'm excited for that um, and I'm excited just to go out there and leave it on the field I mean that's the biggest thing is go out there and play hard attitude heart and effort if we do that great things could happen and you know we got another week of ball to play after this so that's what I'm excited I think it's a big 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 thing for the team big thing for the program as well and then us to be able to represent our university it's really exciting Dwayne, so heading back to Grand Junction after we were just there <laughs> two days ago. Uh, you get matched up with MSU Denver. We played them here at home and split with them 2-2. Uh, just speak on this matchup and how you know we've had success against them. But going into the shows now, everybody's 0-0, zero zero, like Coach B said. Yeah, so you know, going in and playing, we're definitely excited. We, Like you said, we played... Uh, Metro in March and we split with them and really in real reality we should have took the series to them so you know we're we're on another level right now we're we're not pressing but we're keep moving forward and really just working on the things that we do well and doing those little things right and um, trusting the process which we've been doing all along and um, on another note I mean like we're really staying within ourselves I think that when it comes um, to to the matchup and you know all of our feelings all together, we we we're doing it for the people next to us, and I think that's really what what matters the most. Kate, you had some success against them when you when you played here. Um, just also, how do you feel going into this matchup? Yeah, I'm really excited again. Like Coach B said, I don't feel like every team saw us as who we are, and we put a lot of hard work and effort every week. And so just knowing that if we play our game, we're going to be pretty unstoppable. Marissa. Get to pitch in the circle and hit. So, what does uh, what does that mean to you? Like, how do you get into a certain mindset when you're called upon to do both? I think just having the mindset of uh, being able to relax and know that I have a job, and whether it's moving a runner over or getting on base in that moment, that's what I need to do. And like Caitlin said, just being able to have knowing that I have the entire team in the box with me. All right, awesome. So, just with that, uh, do you have any other closing remarks? Yeah, just we want to thank all of the admin, um, all of our support staff, Jason, Andres, everybody that makes us go. Um, I think a lot of the times you, you see the girls, you see the coaches, but you don't see the people behind the scenes. Um, and, and personally, thanking my assistant, um, Ben, he's he's been awesome. He's been a great addition for us. Um, having Jill help out, stick around, and be able to be a part of the culture, continuing to grow. Um, but really, the people behind the scenes don't get enough credit for what they do, and this wouldn't all be possible without them. So I just really want to thank all of our admin, support staff, everybody that makes PAC softball, um, makes us go. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'd like to also add on to that. I'd like to thank our families who are out there, no matter what the weather is, and just supporting us no matter what. Yeah, and our fans too. Everybody in Pueblo, um, just just our whole circle. It takes a village, honestly. So thank you. And along with the alumni, building the culture that we have and just setting a foundation and a good example for us. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. Go back. Go back. <laughs>